We're back for part two of our Worth It Taiwan series. Today, we're doing soup. Taiwan style. It's amazing because it's so hot in Taiwan and yet they love their soup here. It's eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So many great dishes to try. But before we get there, Stephen, where are we? We are here at the Jingzai Zhao tile paved salt fields. Is that right, Inka? Jingzai Zhao. Historically, one of the earliest salt producing areas of Taiwan. Ocean water comes in, the sun evaporates it, and you're left with salt. Speaking of salty liquids. Sweat? No. Oh. We're doing soup. Today on Worth It, we're gonna be trying three Taiwanese soups at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. It's so windy. The typhoon just passed. So we're heading a little bit north of the city of Tainan to where, Inka? We're going to Jiayi to have some fish soup at Lin Chongming Yu Tang. Lin is my last name and Chongming is smart. So we're just going to like the smart version of me oh, fish wow. place. That'll be an extra special treat. <laughs> Taiwan is very hot. Yes. Soup is a very hot food. Why do Taiwanese people love soup so much? Taiwan是比较困苦，所以大家煮东西就煮汤汤水水，比较喝得饱。这个是我们在地六十几年的小吃了，从我爷爷的时代卖到现在，所以我们的特色一次就是煮一百人份。你一定要这么大锅才有那
谢谢。That soup was incredible. In the rainbow of soup to stew, this was somewhere. In the middle and like the stoop, stoop there section. There it is. Yeah. So before we get to our next soup, we decided to get some treats at the Garden Night Market in Tainan. This is my favorite treat at the night market. It is a peanut roll with ice cream and cilantro. What? Cilantro in a dessert? I guess it makes sense. We put mint in desserts, and that's just oh, another green leaf. Think of that. Cheers. Cheers. Huh? 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 huh. Huh? Oh, I like dessert cilantro. So our next soup is actually going to be hot pot. Hot pot pot. Archaeologists have found pots from 2,000 years ago that may have been used to make an early iteration of hot pot. These were found in the Anhu province of China. Wow, old hot pot, dude. Hot pot for me. Every Thanksgiving in the Lim family, we always, always, always eat hot pot. It would make sense that soup was one of the oldest things humans ate. Yeah, just uh, water. Throw some stuff in there and eat it. Tomorrow, hot pot. Inga, where are we going? We are going to Ayu Noodle Salsa Goa to eat some beef soup. That's what I'm talking about. Beef soup. Get that hot pot. Throw some beef in there. Throw some soup in there. Throw some veggies in there. Whatever you want. We're gonna eat it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Choked on a peanut. Why do you love hot pot so much? How often do you get the deliveries? 每餐，每餐，对，每餐。你说现在是中餐，是早上宰的，所以它就会有那种鲜甜的味道，然后牛肉吃起来就有弹性。We saw that it arrived by taxi. Is it always come by taxi? That's so cool. The meat takes a cab to every meal. There's also vegetables in the dish already. For someone who's never had hot pot before, how do you eat it? You also have this pork rice. It's free for all the customers? 老板的个性是比较豪爽型的，他希望客人哎品尝到好吃的牛肉，还可以配一碗肉燥饭，减配一百分。谢谢。We've eaten a lot of beef on this show, but this is some of the prettiest beef I've ever seen. The color is ridiculous. Cold brewed oolong. This is one of the coolest things. It's like tea snow globe, and it's got the net in no the top. No yeah. way! Cheers. Mmm. Want to start with this one? Let's do it. The shoulder cat. Cheers, Stephen. One, two. Wow. Three. Going in. One. Mmm. Two. Oh no! <laughs> this smell is incredible. Cheers. Oh. That's nice beef. We're just getting to eat really nice steak yeah. with soup, and you get to eat it the second it's done cooking. Mmm. I'm gonna try the same piece of meat this time, but now dip it. Shabu, shabu. Ooh. Shabu. That rocks. Can I get in there? Yeah. You All should right. absolutely. One, two, whoa, three. It's like you're baptizing Ooh. the meat. <laughs> The dip is awesome. Okay. That's doing it right. There's two great ways to enjoy beef. 
You either cook it very briefly or you cook it a really long time. This is the best of both worlds. The quick cooked beef and also the super long cooked beef. Because the soup is a yeah. 10 to 12 hour yeah. steeped in beef bone soup. But enough about beef, pork break. Pork break. Mmm. Mm. At first this did not make sense to me, but it's because the beef is so precious, it breaks up the flow. So I don't just crush my plate of beef all in one bite like I want to. Well, and also this bowl of rice is bringing me more comfort than my body pillow. What? I've had the same one for over 10 years. It's hard to sleep without it. Wow. No, I wash it. That explains a lot about you. It's like a teddy bear. We all have that like item. Yeah, but now comfort. mine is in my parents' attic because I stopped sleeping with it after the age of eight. Why would you give up something that's so comfortable? All right, we're gonna have the broth now. We've finally reached the soup part of the meal. Ooh, the smell though. Cheers. Ooh, that is nice. It's not so beefy, actually. It's got like fruity flavor, like yeah. apples or something. This is the best way to close out this meal. Yeah, it's a nice gentle landing. It's like when you have a delicious sauce and you want a piece of bread to mop it up to oh. get all of the sauce. Here, you just drink the sauce. <laughs> Hot pot. That hot pot was so good. Okay, so we've come to Tai Chung for our final soup. But before we have that, we're gonna have some cold drinks. That's right. We're going to Tianren, one of my favorite places in the States. So glad to be having it here in Taiwan, where it's actually from. So we've got oolong tea and a black tea boba. Confession time, I'm not the biggest fan of boba. That's fine. I just, eating while drinking, I don't. Isn't that what soup is? <sighs> soup is drinking while eating. It's completely different. Don't get it twisted. Cheers. Mmm, that's what I like. Unsweetened, nice iced tea, that's all I want. Instead of another soup fact, we're actually gonna have a boba fact. Boba fact. Boba tea was invented in the 1980s in Taichung. Oh, some genius out here putting boba and milk tea together. There are controversies around who actually invented boba milk tea. There's multiple reports of different people, so. Interesting. We're now on our way to Gubami, where we're going to see Chef Chen to try her beef noodle soup. The iconic dish of Taiwan. We've had it a few times off camera so far, just for our crew meals and such, and it's usually a very inexpensive dish, five or six US dollars equivalent. But today's is going to be a little bit more deluxe. It's gonna cost around 30 US dollars, which is a lot for beef noodle soup, but it's gonna be really good. Gubami is beef noodles in Taiwanese dialect. Why do you think Taiwan loves their beef noodle soup so much? It's fast and also it's luxury. You have a big bowl of noodles, soup, and meat. I never really see restaurants can do all three good. I want to do things the best. So when I do noodles, I want to find out the best formula. So we test with different flours for almost six months, I would say. We want the noodles to be al dente in the middle, but also the outside can absorb a little bit the soup. We use the Japanese Wagyu beef shank, and also we have a condiment of smoked bone marrow. And on top of it, we have some shabu shabu of the beef shank to give two different textures of the meat. What is your background in cooking? like? Where did you come from? <laughs> I learned in Paris. I traveled to States a little bit and then I come back. I started my French restaurant 10 years ago. Very fine dining, it was my dream restaurant. But it's in Taichung, it's very weird. I think Taiwan people, they like something casual. I want to do something smaller and now I have the bar, I have noodle shop. I was just trying to do something I like. <laughs> yeah. It looks like very refined, but I didn't do it on purpose. I just trying to make it good and then it becomes this way. Mm. Look at this. That's not soup. We have tofu skin cooked in some of the beef stock. This is the radish with lemon and olive oil, zucchini, confit and goose fat, some kind of green bean, and beef, mushroom, deliciousness. I know there's a lot of delicious stuff in front of us. I cannot wait for the soup right now, but I will be patient. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on the soup. <laughs> that is damn good. Green, green bean. bean. Oh, I did not think that was gonna taste like that. What? <laughs> it's a smoky, porky green bean, tofu skin. That looks super juicy and yeah. meaty. Cheers. 
That's the best one. No, this is the best one. No, 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 no. Zucchini. Confit and goose fat. Every time I eat something green, I expect it to taste like a crisp vegetable. Wow. And instead it tastes like a fatty animal. This is awesome. Wow. Finally the beef. Oh! I'm ready to eat some beef noodle soup right now. Ooh, thank you. All Smell right. this thing. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is a $30 bowl of soup. Broth, cheers. Okay. I didn't think a beef taste could be refreshing. Yeah. How Have about shabu? Yeah, let's do the choice cut meat on top. Wow. Very flavorful beef. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> I literally just ate a pastrami sandwich in one bite. Yeah. And the juices of the soup just bursting out. Inca, have some. Come, come, come. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Those are great noodles. Springy, chewy. Look at that beef. Wow. Holy crap. I didn't think it was gonna be that soft. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's like softer than taffy. It's softer than, it's somewhere. Oh you gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's add the bone marrow. This is like buttering already buttered bread. Ah, what? Including all the steaks we've eaten, this beef, best beef taste I've ever tasted. And the best part, you get to eat noodles the whole time. It's like usually a steak, you're just eating steak. Pretty fun, but okay. Noodles the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of beef noodle soup before and it's never bad. It's, it's always satisfying and comforting, but this one is like, boy, well, was born in Akron, Ohio. Part of the chosen one in ESPN Magazine when he was 14. Turned out to be a great basketball player. Who is this? LeBron James. Oh, God damn it! Every time. <laughs> Gubami. One of the best soup dishes I've ever had. One of the best noodle dishes I've ever had. One of the best beef dishes I've ever had. I like what we did there. Before we get to our worth it winners, Andrew, what was your favorite thing that was not a soup in this episode? The craft beer at Smartfish. Oh. I never thought I'd see a beer with a fish soup logo. What was your favorite non-soup thing? Beef taxi. There's not even a escort. Yeah. Just beef in the taxi, beef out the taxi. Okay, Steven, which soup was most worth it to you? I thought Smart Fish Soup was gonna be my winner when we ate there. I thought the beef hot pot was gonna be my winner when we ate there. But Gubami is my worth it winner today. So beefy, just so much thought put into it. My worth it winner goes to Smart Fish. Oh. That fish soup was crazy. Truly one of the most unique dishes I've ever eaten. Inka and Annie? Gubami. Gubami. What? Adam, who's your worth it winner? What? <laughs> get, get. I've never hey. been so, uh, this is a worth I it I win first. today. That's it for Worth It Taiwan Soup. We have one more episode in this mini series coming up next. Steven, what is it? Chicken. <laughs>